as both teams make their way out onto the playing surface in front of a pretty healthy crowd. The supporters still coming into the ground. Uh, Shelburne look to do what they did 12 months ago and get the better of Athlone Town in the big game in women's club football in Ireland. So here's the first opportunity from a set piece. This is Gibson. Left footed delivery, hanging it up invitingly. That's headed towards goal. And all the way across goal as well. Almost a breakthrough in the third minute. Athlone Town still have the ball. Singleton getting involved again and out for a throw in. Well, that one looked destined for the net. It was a flick towards goal. Then it flashed across the goal mouth as well. Yeah, it's a great delivery. Is it, is it Chloe Singleton gets ahead on it? No, sorry, it's not. But you can see it hits her own player almost, doesn't it? As it comes back across the box. No one there to get a touch on it. It is Singleton, isn't it? It's a good header. It hits off her nearly and nobody in that position to try and knock it in. Another loose ball in the middle. Brennan's in there. And Ryan now goes at a first time ball. This is a brilliant pass as well. Matty Gibson with the chance. Goalkeeper parries and eventually collects. Amanda McQuillan does well in the end, but there is the danger posed by Maddie Gibson. Yeah, it's much better from, from Laurie Ryan as well. You can see she has a look, she buys her time, and that space is in behind Kiva Keane on this left hand side from Maddie Gibson. It's a good effort, but straight down the middle again. Gibson comes in to tidy it up, and now forward to Sheriff. No one in front of her in an Athlone Town jersey has to go back towards Rossman. Oh, Rossman's caught in possession, and Hannah Healy has it. Here's the chance for Shelburne. Healy squares it across the chance. Oh, and it's ricocheted wide, out for a corner. Shelburne wondering how they haven't scored. She's been very, very unselfish there, hasn't she? I think it's opened up for her perfectly. It's a great first touch, gets it out of her feet, gets away from the defender, you're thinking, just hit it. She sets it back and lovely for Noelle Murray, to be fair to her, but it just gives Kelly Brennan a chance to get back in and block it. A big, big moment, Healy to Murray. And the last ditch block for Athlone Town. Ryan now chasing after this one, Sheriff was there as well. Slattery clears it away. Strong header comes in and Athlone Town have got it. Malloy picked up the pieces. Singleton gets it in as far as Ryan. Malloy now trying to take Athlone Town forward. That's a good ball as well. Singleton trying to pick out a ball into the area. Sheriff was there. It's off the post, it's there again. And it's in. Athlone Town lead. And it's Dana Sheriff. In the 33rd minute, Aslone Town rejoice and they take the lead in the cup final. Yeah, it's really good play initially, probably a little stroke of luck with the, the way it's come back off the post in the Dana Sheriff. It's great play down that side, I think. Into the little ball in behind, great little ball in. And you can see Chloe Singham, she has a little look up, she puts it into the dangerous area. Maggie, Maggie Pierce probably going with the right, or the left foot, trying to clear it there, just swipes at it. And as it comes back out, Dana Sheriff, we talked about her before. Anything in and around the box, she's always in the right position. It's just unfortunate, isn't it, for Maggie Pierce as it comes back off it? The upright getting in the way of that initial ball that went towards the goal, ricocheting off Maggie Pierce, but Dana Sheriff making no mistake with the chance presented to her. Shine has made her way forward. Rossman as well is in there for Athlone Town. Shells have brought everybody back into their own area here. That's a good delivery as well. Singleton! And the goalkeeper, McQuinnan, just does enough. The Alex Kavner now launching it in towards the area. Headed away by Shine. Kavner has a second chance here. Goes through the challenge. And now launches a ball in towards the area, inviting one as well. Oh, and Athlone Town still haven't cleared it. It's still there for Shelburne. And Murray tried to just loft it into the net. But it sails over the crossbar. But that's a relief from an Athlone Town point of view. Yeah, it's better from Alex Cavan. I think the initial free kick was a poor ball in. She just puts it into a dangerous area, doesn't she? Gemma Quinn doesn't give up on it. Well, just she's just leaning back, isn't she? She just hits it over the bar. Well, it's it all looked used like... to them being given as free kicks, aren't we? It looked like Athlone had enough players there to deal with it. A couple of defenders, Katie Keane as well. The wind just whipping that one across the field, but that's been really well kept in by Keenan. 
Nigel Shells has some forward momentum. Good run down the far side from Pierce. First time ball in as well. Isn't a bad one? Oh, it's in. They've got it. Gemma Quinn gets on the end of it. And Shells level things up in the cup final. Noel King and his backroom team celebrate. And Gemma Quinn brings Shells back on level terms. Yeah, I'm absolutely delighted for Gemma Quinn. As I said, I played with her a long time ago, and she's always been a fantastic player. It's brilliant, brilliant play from Maggie Pierce, though, I have to say. She wins the ball initially, then plays it out and continues to run down the line. Katie Keane just gets underneath it, doesn't she? And she just palms it out and flaps it, and Gemma Quinn, not too dissimilar to it. Sheriff in the first half, she's in the right place at the right time and just nods at home. And Gemma Quinn, having come off the bench, makes the impact Noel King wanted her to make. She finds the back of the net. And with a little more than 15 minutes left to go, <laughs> Shelburne are level. Gemma Quinn with the all-important equaliser. Now Athlone Town with the chance to bring play down the other end of the field. Laurie Ryan is back in the fray. And OK after that uh, pretty hefty knock she took in that challenge with Noel Murray. Ball into the middle. Now it's picked up by Kelly Brennan. Space for Gibson, who's over on this right-hand side this time. Gets past the challenge. Thinking about the shot, she does take on the shot. It just clips the top of the... Uh, Goal frame off the crossbar. But McQuillan was certainly concerned. I think once she comes inside, there's nothing else. She's looking to try and get that ball onto her left foot to get the shot off, doesn't she? I thought initially it was a touch by McQuillan, but it hits the top of the bar. And Keane now will drive this one long down the park. This one has spilled nicely, though, for Athlone Town. Shell's looking a little bit exposed here. Gibson has got some space. Now she has possession. Cuts in onto that left boot again. Gibson with the shot. Just past the post, McQuillan had it covered. Murray Devaney in the middle, caught by the challenge of Hannah Healy. Shells have some space to work in here now. Murray dinking a ball in towards Gemma Quinn. She's got a hold of it. Gemma Quinn still has it and gets the shot away. It's a wonderful save from Katie Keane. Quinn again causing the trouble for Athlone Town and almost finding the back of the net for a second time in the second half. What an impact she's had since coming on. Really, really good effort. Let's see as she gets, she's trying to take it in her stride and she has to go back on it, but manages to get it out of her feet. That's a great save from Keane. Absolutely great save. She does so well to get across. Doesn't see too much of it either as it comes through. Malloy takes it in field, looking for some support here. Turns back away from goal. They need to try and get a shot off here quickly. Athlone Town, her time is going to run out. Mark Lynch has looked at his watch once already. Ten seconds left to play. Hannah Healy has got it for Shelburne, and that could well be that. And it looks like extra time here at Tallis Stadium, and it is. It's finished all square after 94 minutes. Gemma Quinn bringing Shelburne level in that second half. And we're going to need extra time to decide this year's women's FAI Cup final. Well, Shells have the free kick. Under the floodlights here at Tallis Stadium. Early on this Sunday evening. Ball into the area. Headed away by Singleton. She's had a really good game for Athlone Town. Back it comes again. Another chance for Shelburne to put a ball in. Slattery has held her position too. Inside the area, comes back outside. Quinn! Oh, oh what a goal! A wonderful goal for Shelburne in extra time. Is that the goal to win the cup once again for Noel King's team? Slattery was in the area. And Shells find the net in the end. What a wonderful finish. It's absolutely brilliant, as you say, a cracking finish, but it's brilliant from Carol Slattery as well. Has the awareness to know where Gemma Quinn is and just sets it for her. It's a great ball back in by Noel Murray here, you'll see it. She's, she sees the run of Carol Slattery. She's onside, isn't she? She sees the run of her. Good first touch, as I said, great awareness from Slattery just to set it for Gemma Quinn, who finishes it so, so well. It's a terrific finish. It's a goal to grace any occasion, not least a cup final. And Gemma Quinn, having been sprung from the bench in the second half, has scored twice for Shelburne here at Tallis Stadium, and they lead the cup final.
ball into the area, hooked in as a good one, and here's the chance, it's in! They're level again! Gillian Keenan smashes it to the back of the net, and Athlone Town level up the cup final with four minutes to go in extra time, 2-2. Just as I said it, I told you, I think they're a team that never give up, and Gillian Keenan get herself into a great position. You see it on this left-hand side. Mira Devani with a good ball in, she gets in ahead of Kerry Letman, and good touch out of her feet and sets herself, and it's a great finish, really good finish. Keeper maybe could have got something to it, but there's just enough power on it from Gillian uh, Keenan to maybe send this goal to penalties, or will there be a winner? Well... Keenan with the all-important equaliser. And Athlone Town level things up. Kieran Kilduff punches the air. And it looks like the Women's Cup final for 2023 is heading for penalties. And indeed it is. All square after normal time. All square after extra time. Gillian Keenan, the hero for Athlone Town. Noel King and the Athlone Town backroom team shake hands to take a spot kick will be Maddie Gibson of Athlone Town stepping up against Amanda McQuillan in the Shelburne goal so penalties to decide the cup final and Athlone Town will take the first spot kick Gibson so prominent throughout the course of normal time and extra time nervous moments on the benches nervous moments in the stands Gibson oh off the upright and immediately, it's advantage Shelburne. Yeah, you can see Amanda McQuillan, she's trying to play those mind games, isn't she? Trying to put her off, and it's almost into the top corner. You'd say a poor penalty. The game she's had as well, you'd have to feel for she's been excellent throughout the game, but Amanda McQuillan just maybe does enough to put her off. So Shelburne now with the chance to take the lead. Maddie Gibson disappointed with her effort, it was so close. Cracking off the upright now, Pearl Slattery, the Shelburne captain. And Slattery finds the back of the net, Katie Keane. Unable to prevent that one finding the net. And Shells take the lead. Yeah, I think it's never in doubt with Pearl, wasn't it? You can see she's confident going up. Picks her spot and doesn't change her mind. Good penalty. The second spot kick to be taken by... Dana Sheriff for Athlone Town, up against McQuillan, scored in the match itself, can she repeat it here? Yes she can, Dana Sheriff with a brilliant penalty, up to that top corner. Yeah, it's a great penalty isn't it, the keeper's not getting anywhere near that. It's a good penalty. So 1-1 one, one in the Imagine shootout. McQuillan set him up here. McQuillan, off target, and we're all square again. The goalkeeper unable to find the back of the net. It's a strange one, isn't it? To have your goalkeeper taking your second penalty. Well, McQuillan unable to find the target. So we're all square in the shootout. Two spot kicks each. One converted, one missed. So it's 1-1. And now it's Chloe Singleton. For Athlone Town. Into the back of the net. And Athlone Town take the lead in the shootout. Yeah, it's a great penalty from Chloe Singleton, another player who's had a fantastic game. Slots at home with confidence. There's the one from Amanda McQuillan as well, just gets under it, doesn't she, over the bar. Again, a strange choice for a second uh, penalty taker to be her goalkeeper. Now, Hannah Healy, the 15-year-old, stepping up for Shelburne. Brilliant composure from the youngster. And Shells... Bring themselves level in the shootout again. Three spot kicks taken. It's 2 2. Yeah, you can see Katie Keane's picked her side, hasn't she? And Hannah Healy just hits it down the middle. Can Amanda McQuillan redeem herself, having missed the penalty? Can she save one here? Hayley Shine is stepping up next for Athlone Town against McQuillan. Oh, it's another superb penalty. Struck it beautifully. They've liked that side, haven't they, Athlone? In off the bar. It's a great strike, great penalty. So Shine gives Athlone Town the lead in the shootout again. 
and making her way forward to take the next penalty for Shelbert is the substitute, Rebecca Devereaux. Taking her time, but Athlone Town lead 3-2 in the shootout. This is the fourth spot kick for Shelbert to level things up again. Katie Keane in goal for Athlone Town. It's Devereaux. And it's another brilliant penalty. Again, Katie Keane has made her decision early. She goes to go to her right hand side. And straight down the middle. Now, the fifth penalty for Athlone Town to be taken by Jesse Rossman up against Amanda McQuillan in the Shelburne goal. Rossman, cool as you like, converts. And now the pressure on Shelburne with their fifth spot kick. The pressure falling on the shoulders of Alex Kavna. Yeah, very good technical player. You'd expect her to slot these home most times, but the pressure that's on in this occasion, it might be different. Kavna off the bar, and that's Lone Town have done it. As Lone Town are the women's FAI Cup champions for the very first time in the most dramatic of circumstances. Under the lights at Tallis Stadium, Kieran Kilduff has inspired the Midlanders to a famous victory. The final spot kick hitting the bar. It's heartbreak for Shelburne. And it's joy unconfined for Aslone Town. Remarkable scenes in Tallis Stadium. But Aslone Town are the women's FAI Cup champions. Yeah, it's a, it's a terrible way to lose a game, but a great way to win it, isn't it? I have to feel for Alex Kavner stepping up to take that last penalty. It's not an easy thing to do. Hits the bar with the penalty, and I think it's it's been a fantastic game overall. I don't think either team deserved to lose it, did they? But Athlone Town just edge it in the end, and congratulations to Athlone and commiserations to Shelburne. It's been a fantastic game today. Well, the Athlone Town players celebrate their supporters as well. Dancing in the stands. Emotional scenes. How about the job that Kieran Kilduff and his management team have done over the last number of months? And remarkably, three of the four matches that they've played in this cup run, they've won on penalties. Meeting the FAI president, Jerry McEnany, and getting set to lift the cup for Athlone Town. Laurie Ryan, the captain, raises the trophy. And Athlone Town, the women's FAI Cup champions for 2023. What a moment for Athlone Town. I think it really shows how far this league is coming as well. That 